so I'm back with my first review of 2014 and for that we are going to review Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor is the military action drama that stars Mark Wahlberg as uh, Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell. This is a movie about a Navy SEAL team's attempt to assassinate a high-ranking member of the Taliban in Afghanistan, something goes horribly wrong with the mission, and then you have your movie. Okay, your hero is Mark Wahlberg as Marcus Luttrell. Mark Wahlberg gives a very good performance as Luttrell. He's a relatively moral soldier. I mean, these guys are Navy SEALs. Navy SEALs are notoriously cold-blooded dudes, and he's relatively moral moral enough for this he's a nice enough guy that you can anchor the film on this he he's the right guy for this and mark Wahlberg does a good job of portraying him the uh, villains of the film are the taliban in general there's no one specific there is the person that they're trying to kill in in the mission but for the purposes of this movie he's not really the main bad guy I will say this about the Taliban in this movie, they're much better shots than the bad guys usually are in films of this nature. Holy crap. Um, now, for a mentor character, the closest thing this film has to a mentor is Luttrell himself. He's the moral center of this film. Um, he is a soldier who has reasons why he's as moral as he is in this specific situation. I don't want to give it away because it's kind of a spoiler, but there is a debate that sets up the situation that the entire film is about, and everybody's got a point of view. The person most people will identify with is Mark Wahlberg's character. Um, for allies, you have the other four members of the SEAL team, as well as the other Navy SEALs who are in a support position for this mission. Um, they're well cast. They're very well acted. It's, it's, there's some really good dialogue. Um, I will say that there is a standout. An actor by the name of Ben Foster plays a character called Axe. And initially, I thought that this was Ed Norton in the role. The guy looks like Ed Norton, at least in this role, and he is almost as good an actor as, as Ed Norton. And I was quite impressed with Ben Foster in, in this film. And for your obstacles in the film, you have the Taliban, like I said, but the Taliban in numbers, these guys just keep coming. There is a lot of them. The upside of this film, the upside of this film is it's very well acted, it's very well directed, it's a good story, it's a pretty emotional story, especially towards the end. Um, it, uh, there, at times it kind of reminded me of Gravity, in not in tone, not at all in tone, but in the sense that it's a story about someone who really, really, really wants to survive in a situation where that's really not very likely. And this person just doesn't give up. Um, the other upside is this film kind of tries hard not to demonize the Arab people. Um, it doesn't mind demonizing the Taliban specifically, but Arabs in general, they try not to do so. The downside of the movie, I mean, really the only downside for me was this film is incredibly graphic and gory. If you are squeamish at all, this is a film you should skip because, oh my God, is it gory. Um, in the end, I have to give this movie five stars. It is a really great movie. It's just too good to give my first 4.5. It's too good. So this is going to be a five-star movie. This is, well, it's the only film I've seen this year, but it's still the best film I've seen this year. So five stars, Lone Survivor, go see it.